Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the spot. Wherever you're watching us, we're happy to have you with us again. And it's time now for a spot of music, and we're going all the way to East Africa, one of our favorite countries, Kenya. And it is South Soul with Shikyo. Bam Bam. Bam Bam, not Bam Bam. Bam Bam. I just like Saudi Soul. I'm a big like I'm a big fan. See how they're doing Shoki <laughs> in the video. I like yeah. Nigeria. No matter where we shall yeah. enter. Um, I think this is Clarence Peters. Yeah, Clarence Peters directed yeah. this. I feel like Clarence lives in Kenya now. Like he has <laughs> no. just, but he's done a he few of their videos. Of, yeah. He's done a few of their videos. So this is just a really like it's a cool party song. Um, it's a very sort of hype. Like they have all the little dance moves. Yeah. Um, in it and they're just having a really fun time it's a club setting this is not one of their have they always been this sort of musicians like up tempo no they have a mix yeah. that's the thing I, so i've always associated them with like you know more mellow chill stuff. yeah no they just they've, they've, they've done a vocally mix. perform yeah as against which yeah. is this is not a bad i mean i'm just no. it's just nice to see them do yeah. be versatile or what they did um i think bef i want to say before this one came out they did, uh, you know, they, they've done some stuff with um, yeah, yeah, so Suryako remix. So yeah. this might be sort of an evolution of that whole, you know, with getting, you know, that yeah. dance, what you might call it, thing yeah. going on. I must say that, <laughs> surprisingly, for a song that's about Shake Your Bam Bam, which is about the mm -hmm. booty, yeah. it's not as crazy as I would have thought. Yeah. You know, I mean, a, a, a video with that sort of title, I would expect <laughs> the typical <laughs> pop culture, you know, there's yeah. girls and there's just yeah. no clothes, pretty much. <laughs> so this but is quite nice. It's a club. Small. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just different <laughs> yeah. on, the, on the level of yeah. the shake your bum bums <laughs> yeah. that it would be. But it's a good song. It's, it's a good a video good as well. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a party. Like it's a party it. song, so the video should be a party, yeah. which is what it is. I so. like it a lot. It We've been good. saying they should come on this show for three years now. I just want them to come. One of them sent me a message. I got, I got a, what you call it, uh, he shout into your out. DM? No, oh, okay. it wasn't that kind of message. Just was checking. That he was working on a show that um, one of my friends was working on, and he knows how much I love Saudi Soul. So he okay. recorded me a message, oh, hi, Lamy dated. I posted it on my Instagram, stats, stats. I was like, yes, <laughs> I love it. But yeah, yeah so Saudi Soul, shake your bam bam. Nice one. Yes, nice Thank one indeed. Thank you very much. Okay, it's time for us to meet our special guest in the house, and we're talking music still. Yep. Uh, he's someone who burst into the scene in 2015, doing great things, even though his, his name is a Lil. <laughs> Has a Lil in it. Wow. He's not Lil by any standards. That's not cheesy <laughs> at all. <laughs> he's a big man doing big things in Nigerian music. Please make some noise for Kesho. Lil, Lil Kesh. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so, why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? That's my first Hi, question. Hi, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the okay. show. What's up, I like the entrance. Have a like, mm -hmm. it was going to appear. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Fine. Like we say in Nigeria, how markets? No way, they go well. He's selling. <laughs> He's really selling, isn't I, it? I give God all the glory. Ah, that's the standard. I give God the glory. I give God all mm -hmm. the glory. Yeah. So, ha, ha, yeah, okay. Go on. No, I was going to say, how's it going? Yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. I'm chilling, chilling. Are you enjoying where you are now musically with your career and everything? Um, I'm very grateful that we use that word because within the space of two years and with the level of things I've been able to accomplish, yeah, yeah, I'm quite grateful. So I'm happy where I am. Yeah. Just, just need to get better still. 2015 still was crazy for you, like crazy. And <laughs> for someone who does music in more in the in Yoruba, yeah. you know, you've, you've crossed over pretty much to a lot of, you know, other genres. Did that surprise you? Did you think you were going to be just a, or going to be a Lagos sort of hit, but you've gone national pretty yeah. much, and even international? I like music. So I knew eventually, yeah, it was just, it was just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. Just keep to, pushing. Yeah, you understand, because right. you, can't, you can't satisfy the people with a particular song. Mm -hmm. There are different people who, who like different genre music. Mm -hmm. People want to hear music from different, they want you to talk about love, they want you to talk about <laughs> God, they want yeah. you to talk about, mm -hmm. they Parties. want you to give them party jams, yeah. they want to turn up in the club and all that, and yeah. you can't put all that in one song. Yeah. So yeah, like I started off with Shoki, you know, then I had like lyrically a hip hop song mm -hmm. that appealed to my hip hop fans. Everything was a hit, so you understand? Back, back to back. back. <laughs> <laughs> back to I just back, had to drop yeah, that, I'm yeah. sorry. Did you 
know, like when you were recording, okay, how long, wait, how long did it take? What's the difference between when you recorded Shock and when it was released? Was it like something that you had done a while ago and then you released it because you thought mm, it would be cool? Or was it like um, instant, like you did it yeah, and it then was, you put it out? Yeah, it was like that. Did it was you one know? Of the, it was one of the very first songs I recorded in. At in, all. in when I got when I got time to work with me. Okay. It was just in just one Did you guys normal know? Life. One normal language. Did like, you like, were you like ah, this this one is yeah, this song enter. is gonna be a hit? Or were you just like, hey, let's put it out, let's just I was enjoying the vibe, yeah. The thing that actually happened was it was our former studio. I was in the room in the studio recording. Olamide was in the parlor. Then I was just dropping, just started like shaky, shaky. Huh? And then he came to see was like he likes that cash, that's nice, complete the song. Mm -hmm. Then the moment I completed the song, I recorded it all night. Okay. So yeah, so when the moment I I finished with the song, he woke up, he heard it was like this is this is crazy, let's mm -hmm. drop it. We dropped it. That's it. Funny oh. enough, what, some people did not even notice because the original shocky song was not even properly mixed. Oh. It was like, how did she drop her? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, like, no, 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 no. While it's hot. Okay. You understand that we just dropped it. Oh. And then went. Wow. Like, you know what? That moment when your song, as a Yoruba guy, self, that moment when your song, in the, within the space of three days, is already big in the East. Mm. <laughs> you, know, you know that feeling? Yeah. yeah so. it, it, it was definitely Well, I don't know the feeling. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you I don't, don't have really, a song that I can feel. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's a very good really feeling. Yeah, 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 so. But did, was there a point, I mean, you're still very young. Uh, your birthday was not too long ago, so I mean, um, yeah, a few days back. Yeah, how old are you now? Sorry, 22. Because I, I had 21, I had 20, yeah, so okay. let's no, just be clear. Yeah, but Later even, even at that age, it's a lot to be happening for you because okay, you were 21 at the time when all of this was happening last year, 2021, yeah. and all yeah. of that. Yeah, how did you were you able to handle it? Because I can't imagine when I was 21. Having like, this sort ah! of <laughs> 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 I would have gone crazy, I would have done gone crazy. But the good thing about it is that there are, there are stages to it. You understand yeah. that yeah. there are stages to it, so it doesn't all come bam. If it comes like that, you probably won't be able to handle it. Mm. But it's yeah. growth from from when I dropped Shoki, there were some people that still don't even no. care about you. Yeah. You understand? Then you have to start buying the fans gradually. The stages, the growth from when I dropped my other follow-up single, which was Bisi. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just more videos, <laughs> them seeing more of you, then that's when you get more famous, then it gets probably more hard to handle, more responsibilities and all that. So is it hard to handle now? Yeah. How yeah like, how life of his time. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. You heard it. He said it's not easy. He it's must know. I don't easy. know. I don't it's know. Easy. We'll find out a little bit more about Lil Cash and we'll be getting into our topic of the day when we come back from this break. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the spot, guys. Hopefully you've been um, enjoying the show so far. Remember, you can always join us on social media via Twitter, Facebook. You can always send us an email on entertainment at ebonylifetv.com. So we've been joined by Lil Cash, who recently re released his album. So it, it, was, it came out about a month ago. It came yeah, out on your ago. birthday, 17th yeah, yeah. About of March. a month ago. Yeah. About a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so do, you drink, do you drink juice? Yes, orange juice preferably. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I like how you're giving preference, you know. Yeah, you know, as a guest. <laughs> if you have guava, maybe. It's what we have to give you. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so, no. okay, how are you, I mean, how are you enjoying the bubble after your album release? Were you nervous before it was released? Did you feel once it was out there finally? Man, I was nervous. It's my, my debut album, you know. Yeah. Mm. Um, over time, I, I noticed that very, very few artists in Nigeria have a, have a successful debut album. Really? So yeah. Okay. Trust me. When I mean successful, I mean like... In terms of hits sales. On, okay, hits, like on, hits, hits on hits on hits. Hits on hits. Okay, on okay. Album. And one thing I've been chasing the whole time, thank you very much. One thing I've been chasing the whole time is trying to get a very good debut album. Yeah. So I was quite nervous that what people think when the album eventually drops. But yeah. yeah. It's Feedback has been... Yeah. The noise from the head is put more pressure on you. Um, <laughs> it just gingered me, let me put it that way. Moving from that moment where I sat and the old drama, saga, everything that happened, there I just told myself, yeah, this. Let this me show year. them. She's like, nah. Like, <laughs> like, She's been on music. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go back to the studio and put on yeah. more. Yeah. Before, before the the show came on, I was looking at some of your stuff and I realized you you were dancing before music. Was that was that professionally or just? Yeah, I wasn't professional. I was just. You just like. It was one of those childhood things. 
Okay, so it wasn't like you yeah. guys say childhood things like you're 50. <laughs> you when I was a child, old, you know, like, you're still young. Responsibilities. Yeah. And so, did that for like any artists, or it was just a thing. Nah, nah, it wasn't that professional. Like I said, it was just a childhood thing. Like from we used to go and battle them from one compound. Oh, okay. They'd be like, "Cash, there's a new champion in this street." we be like, "Hey, my own street." And then I used to give them, <laughs> and then I used to give them some crumping, some uh -huh. and all that. So be like, how far there's a guy? Be like. As yeah, a, cool. Probably I'm the champion at that time. He'd be like, bring the guy to my house. Uh -uh. Like, if the guy is feeling too big, I cannot come. I will go to his house. So you I'll beat you there. Like, I'll beat you in your house. You <laughs> before you know, there's a new champion. Mm. You know, a new... So it was fun then. Okay. Was, was there money involved? Nah. Man. Just for fun, okay. That's the money now. <laughs> then the only the just money for food they used to give us. Ah, All I use my my uh, money, my 15 year I gamble. <laughs> 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 I was dancing. And, okay, I wanted to, before we go, I wanted to ask about the street thing as well, because... After the head is the street thing came up a lot and all of that. So people have always I feel wondered, like you might need to explain that for our yeah, non-Nigerian so non viewers. Nigerians, there was a yeah. bit of an issue, you know. At the head is Nigeria's probably Nigeria's biggest music awards. Yeah. Yeah, or at least most consistent, if I'm gonna use that word. And you know, there was a bit of an issue on stage with oh, who should have won a certain award. I think the, um, the next, next rated. rated, which is really very contested. He was up against Ricardo Banks. And others. And, yeah, and then there was the, the band versus Olamide, which got settled, of course. The band. Sorry, Don Jesse. Don Jesse. <laughs> um, Olamide, which got settled like less than 24 hours after. Yeah. But there was a talk about, oh, we are in the streets. And Olamide said that a lot. And we've started hearing it a lot in, in people's songs. Mm -hmm. And I even see it on people's Instagram. Oh, streets. Uh, yeah. Streets and even, okay. and, even, and even people, people that who are grew not up in mansions, you know. So that's what I'm saying. What is the streets? Street Where is the street? Right? Um, <laughs> the streets, it's, it's a mentality. You okay. It's a movement. It's a place as well. Mm. You grab like streets. Those are the people you see in places like Bariga. That's your hood, I mean. Yeah, I grew up in Bariga. Mm -hmm. I get gay in places like that. These are people that. So have you must have you must have a grass to grey story. Mm, yes. You can't just be like a cool kid and be on the street. Yeah, you can't be like. So someone like Drake was way. not on the street. Hey, <laughs> I don't really know his story that much, but definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> There's no <laughs> street. <laughs> the, the reason why I said street is, I mean, I mean, street is also a mentality because there are certain things that I can handle. It becomes my way in life that some body people can't handle. Yeah, you grab. You have like, to have been through some things. Like, like I know, I, I, I know the worth of of a thousand naira. Right. Some kids. It's don't important know. to yeah. As a street yeah. Yeah. So even if I have even if I'm making millions now, I still know the worth of a thousand yeah. That street. Some people don't. Because mm -hmm. they you grab they, 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 was, they didn't have that time when they didn't have enough. Yeah. But yeah. we did. So that's why it's called the street. Interesting. Huh? So let us know viewers if you're from the streets. <laughs> Tell us why. Are you from the street <laughs> and no, I won't even lie. Where I no, I. She grew up in London. And I did not. In it. Then, you know, in it in though. Texas. In it though. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. It's okay. It's a I, posh kid. I wasn't a posh kid. I just yeah. wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even try it. Visit. I can't even try it. Yeah. Yes, I know. The knew. streets of like her estates, maybe. <laughs> Why are you talking? Which streets are you from? Ah, uh, Bini. Get out. Uh, As if you were in the streets. Give them. Ikoba Slope, Ikoba Hill, Akpakpava. I can name, Shout out to but I can also name streets. So what's yeah, that? Name streets, name streets. What, where? Exactly. In Lagos? Yeah, in Lagos. <laughs> Ajakaye. <laughs> Admiralty. I've never Admiralty, have lived in Lekki. I've never, I've always Admiralty, been a mainland Kuba, girl. Kimola. Get out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> can we talk about today's topic? Why you people are bullying me? It's because they're not busy here. You people are just bullying me. I don't have even the worst. Clap them, clap, clap. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to take a pause from the street okay. talk. Let my own street not talk and shame me. Uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking about a topic of the day, which is speaking in tongues. You want to stick around to find out what that's all about. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching the spot. If you're just joining us, yes, we're about to get into our topic of the day. Uh, we still have our guest in the house, Lil Kesh. And um, we're going to be talking, speaking in tongues, and we're not talking about church. Um, in case you're wondering, <laughs> 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 we're talking about music. Yeah. Yeah. And um, people who sing in tongues or in their mother in tongues. In their mother pretty tongue. Much. Um, it's become a phenomenon in the last, let me Five just say, years? decade. 
Okay. Pretty much, because the grain yeah. is over five years. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. when people started getting conscious of it, you know. So people are doing it more. I feel like South Africans have done it for, forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You heard South Africans, they always rapped and sang in, in Zulu, Osa, whatever yeah. it is. But in this part of the world, people who sang in their local languages only catered to people from their area. From their area. area. So right. if, you have, if you sing in Igbo. Very Ibo, few exceptions. Yeah, very, very few. Exceptions, if you sang in Igbo, yeah. you would. Basically, yeah. just cater to Igbo people who yeah. or people who understand. Who understood these it. days, you have the little Keshes or Lamy days, Sakodi, Fino. Fino. These are people who are crossed yeah. over. Who have crossed there's over. Victor as well. He does does um, this Benin. Yeah, that's language. okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like one of the very few people doing music In the Benin. with that language. Okay. Um, does it, uh, what's his name again? Race? Uh, no, 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 race. Uh, Gaze? No. no. Who tries to do in house art? What's his name? Um, I can't remember, but there's this, there's this dude. There's this yeah, dude he, raps he raps in house as well. So, I mean, it's, it's a thing now. Do, when you started doing it, did you do it because you had seen people succeed at it? Like Olami Day and The Green and all of that? Or did you do it because you were just comfortable Because you wanted it? to do it? Because I felt like that was the best way I can express myself. Yourself, okay. Music for me, honestly, just me expressing myself. Mm. So whatever you hear in my songs, that's me expressing myself. And my environment where I grew up, the mentality, the streets and all that, mm -hmm. that the best way to, to express myself is in Yoruba. Mm. Yeah. But if you listen to my songs, though, you cannot hear a complete song with just, all Yoruba. Yeah. I know I still have to ap appeal to like the other my kids, the yeah. Igbo people that don't understand you about. So yeah. in a particular song, you have to try and give them the idea of what you're talking about. Yeah. So I have like a mixture of Yoruba and English in all my songs. So I, I, I have a question about that. Did you ever have that conversation in, in, the, in the sense of, or was that conversation ever had with you that, okay, listen, if we're going to appeal, if we're going to try and come out and appeal to everyone, you have to include a little bit of, of English. Or was it something that you just knew instinctively this is something that I, I should do because I really do want these people to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like you said, instinct. Okay. instinct. Yeah. That's what works for me. Mm -hmm. It's just instinct. I don't, when, I, when I record, I don't plan it. Okay. I'm in front of the mic. I, it's not like I decided, oh, this particular song, let me do English here, do Yoruba here. I'm just in front of the mic. I barely write at times. Most of the songs I do. So I mostly freestyle than it just... Oh, okay. You understand? Yeah, we just and sit down in front flow. of the mic. Oh, Fuse or Young John is putting up a beat. And we just Young John. <laughs> so wicked. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's the mic and there's drop yeah. a chorus, drop a yeah. verse, yeah. just do your thing and all that. So English comes out of my mouth, Yoruba comes out of my mouth, just instant, basically. Mm, okay. So yeah. you, I, I know you have a song on your album with Fino. Yes, um, Chinko as well. Uh, with Chinko and as Bija well. Wara. Okay, so are you a fan of? Have you found yourself listening to like other culture, other languages, for example? Like are you other, a fan of Fino? For like, example? are you a, are you a Fino, Fino fan? Fino. So, what, what do you think of when you're listening to Fino? Yeah, songs? like because I mean, I'm sure you don't doesn't really Igbo. mix. I don't understand. I don't yeah. understand what you're saying. But music, that's the point. of Music, the flow, the way it bounces. The high and the lows and the yeah. just gets me. That's just music. It, at times, I don't need to understand what you're saying. Mm. Uh, when I travel out for shows and all that, at times, there was this time I was in, I was in Kotonu and there's this song I heard on the TV and it got me like, and I didn't even understand a thing. Mm. But the bounce was crazy, you understand? So it's just music. And I personally appreciate anybody that is rapping in their mother tongue. Yeah. All over the world, or if you're in South Africa, if you're in Kenya, but if I see you're doing good and you're rapping with your mother tongue, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just, I just really, really appreciate that. Do you think it's harder to... Than English? Than, yeah, do you think it's harder to rap in like your mother tongue? I mean, because you, you're comfortable with it, fine, but is it harder? It's not, that's the point. It's comfort, you're mm. expressing yourself. Mm. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's just, it comes out, are you yeah. under, as long as you understand you. Well, yes. I grew up, my mom is speaking Yoruba around the house. Yeah. When I misbehave, she reads by by understand to buy and colori, all those things, you understand? All those things that I hear are just in my head. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> go on, go on, no mind. You understand? Yeah. So that's just that's just it's yeah. just it's more you, it's, it's more you? comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. That's that's the point of being real. Some people are not as real. Some people don't understand Yoruba as much. And yeah. Because yeah. now Yoruba is doing really Easy. good. Mm -hmm. that, I mean indigenous music is doing really good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, let me copy you know. Let me copy yeah. all and all that. But at times it doesn't come out right. Yeah. Yeah. Just be comfortable with what you can do. What right. do you think when you hear like Fino or Sakodie? Oh, I, I like, like I, if I like the song, I like the song. Then later I'll be like, okay, what does he say? So that I'm In case not... he's abusing you. <laughs> Sakodie is a lot of very good. Sakodie is amazing. Very, very, very good. That Alleluia song, first of all, yeah. I don't know what 
Mm -hmm. saying, but I, I chorus, bounce, hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, the only part yeah. I know. Yeah, it's bounce. so good, yeah. That's I'm music, Fino too. Universal language, either you speak in English or not. One way or the other is music, you connect with it. Yeah. You're supposed to connect. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Good music will, will yeah, somehow or the other, more. it will you will connect with it no matter what. You will, you will, yeah, you will, yeah, you yeah, most definitely. So does that, does that then mean that there's more emphasis on the producer? Because like Sakodia, for example, we don't know what he's saying. Yeah. But we like the beat or the, the way or the he's tune, flowing. Or the the what he's melody, saying. Yeah. So the, are lyrics still important? Maybe that's what I want to yeah, ask. Yeah, it goes hand in hand. So whenever I hear it goes like, I mean, in dust and we don't know. <laughs> 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 but we, we just like, like it. it. My point exactly. Yeah. So it goes, it goes it goes it goes it goes hand in hand. So mm. if you hear a good song, give credit to the producer and the artist as well. Because yeah. the the artist might have something very good to offer and the beat is not as good. Right. You so understand? You don't and really the beat can be very crazy and the artist is not making use of it very well. So yeah. there's always they always have to be a connection. A lot of people wonder why I work with just Fuse and Young John most of the time. Right. It's because we're cool. We do music out of comfort. Love, yeah. We're just chilling and we're like, okay, yo, we're how does it work? work? Do you do you hear the beats then voice or sometimes you have something in your if head and then the beats anyhow, follows? At times I could just be like, yo, young John, what up? Do you have anything fresh? Send to me. Send mm -hmm. me the song. Like this is crazy. Even if it's not there to record me, I probably call another engineer. And just grab, then you record me. And it. at times we can be in the studio, start a project together. Okay. You understand? What song has been your favorite to record? Like your favorite, like that you just you, every time you remember, you're like, ah, this was the best time. Like which song was it? We'll Ooh. find out the answer. Oh. In a minute, we'll give him some time to think about that yeah. and take a break. Now, when we we'll come back. Will Cash will be answering the questions and much more right here on the spot. Please stay with us. Oh, me. shit. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the show. We're still talking, speaking in tongues with Lil Cash. And before the break, I asked him what was the most fun experience yeah, that he had with, with what song yeah, he recorded. So... I'm still, I'm still thinking ah, about think fast, it. Think fast, think fast. Of the album. <laughs> any yeah. song. It doesn't have to be off the album. It could be any, any song till date that you've recorded that was like the best and like experience you had recorded. Like this was, you just knew that yes. Like in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Did Shockey take the shortest time? Nah, nah. She you said he recorded all night, right? Like he recorded yeah, that one all through the night. my hit songs. I don't know why, but I ended, I ended up recording them all night, mm. like in the midnight. As you just we'll be recording all of them in minutes now, <laughs> just so you know that, well, yeah. this is the formula that how we... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think how did okay, one song okay. I can never forget is my break, I call it my breakthrough song, that's Lyrically. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that song was fun. Then I was on the street, there was no white beer there, I was like, yeah. then. I remember I was sipping one, small, small alcohol like that. <laughs> the street is one street, call it bitters. Okay. Okay, and I we call it house. Bitters to the studio, it's quite far, mm -hmm. I trekked, and I remembered, I just remember the old scenario, Experience. me walking down that street, till I arrived at the studio, wait for my, my Your engineer, he said, Kesh, how far they come? We went to buy fuel, then I entered the studio, then I was recording inside heat, sweating, <laughs> Then that's how we ended up lyrically. So yeah, I can't remember, that's my breakthrough song, that's the yeah. song Olami Day here, and it was like, I like this boy, bring him. That was I got a record deal. Nice. That was when Shaki came through. Yeah. That has been the journey so far. So yeah, I cannot forget lyrically. Okay. Lyrically. Who's your favorite um, non-Yoruba indigenous artist? <laughs> I'll probably say Fino. Yeah, Fino. I'll Fino's say Fino. Enough. Also because I haven't been, maybe because I don't know them. So if you were, I mean, like you might know more artists that are Igbo, but that's smaller. But yeah. because they haven't blown. You understand? Okay, well, there's Fino, there's Flavor. Ooh, that's... Mm. Oh, yeah, you didn't say rapper. <laughs> I said you artist. Said, yeah. You said artist. artist. Oh. That's true. Ooh, that's... It's, it's probably a tie, because I like them both for different reasons. Yeah. I mean, I really enjoy the melodies and everything. But me, flavor. I grew up, I mean, I'm an hip-hop art. I okay. always liked yeah, rap growing up, so yeah, definitely for me, yeah. it's Fino. Yeah. yeah. Who, how about older... Older indigenous? Because I remember the former Shino Peters was a good crossover Peters was one. a national Adewale icon. Ayuba, yeah. to a certain extent. Um, they, they all, they all have their flavors, you know. Yeah. So I can't pick when in that generation. I can't pick. Trust <laughs> me. Yeah. Okay. I like, I like Sakodi a lot, a lot. Um, reminisce. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. quite interesting reminisce as well. Good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to ask about Young John, because yeah. I feel like it's a national issue. 
Young John the Wicked this Producer. Young John the Wicked Producer. <laughs> Where did you find him and why is he wicked? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I have the, the, the guy is just very, very unique. I call him a unique producer. Is he your, was he your friend before this or you guys met? No, I recording. met him when I, when I got signed to Wabino. Know. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's I met young him as well, one right? day. I met him one day. He was, was doing... Was doing yeah, was producing goons me for okay. Olamide day then, yeah. So that was when I met him. That was when we talked. That's when we talked. Oh, you okay? Let's start working. Let's. Yeah. Did he give himself that the wicked producer line or was it Olamide that gave him? Nah, it was him. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how he came up. He's like, with I it. am the wicked producer. But, but, but Young John is very very unique because yeah. he's kind of instrumental. Um, he might not even be playing as much in a particular beat. But it's going to have one thing that's going to stand out that's unique enough to drive the old bit and makes it a hit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he's actually wicked. Yeah. <laughs> you see all those memes on social media where they write, once you hear his young journey, you just say, hey, <laughs> oh, yeah. my life is finished. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a stand up. It's just actually, you know, really good okay. stuff, man. Really okay. good stuff. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have uh, something we do every Friday. Okay. Um, we bring food. To our uh, guests, but not physically. Finally, food. Oh. no food. Uh, he has. <laughs> not told you I've not. I've not we had have a break. chef that is not so in house. She's so we we'll just see the food and. And we cannot eat. Hope. Do you have not had breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Let's sorry. see what Uza has for us today. <laughs> wow. Hello everybody, my name is Uzo. Welcome to Friday Food. Today, we're going to be making nuts that are a little bit interesting. Food nuts. Now, whether you're on a diet or you just like to snack, nuts are a component in almost everybody's kitchen. And it can be peanuts, it can be any kind of nuts that you like. However, it can get a little bit boring. And with the addition of just two elements, you can actually make snacking a little bit more interesting. We're going to be making some spicy nuts and three ingredient recipes which I love. You need some almonds or chunky nuts like cashews or pecans. Peanuts will not really work because they're a smaller nut. And then I have here some smoked paprika and it is very easy to find now. I mean, there's some spices that were a little bit difficult to find in the past. Paprika is in almost every store now. And then a little bit of salt to taste. Now, there are two ways to go about this and I like to do the easier way. You can get an oven tray and you can put your nuts and all of the elements and then warm it up in the oven. Or you can stick your almonds um, in a bowl, in a microwave for about a minute, just to get it nice and warm. And what that does is the warmer it is, it will take on the flavors. So you have your nuts in here and then add your paprika. Now paprika is a pepper, but it's not hot, hot. It's, it's just mild. And then when they smoke it, it's, um, it gives it a very, very interesting flavor. And then a little bit of salt to taste. Now, you can omit the salt if the nuts that you bought are salted already, but this version are supposed to be like the really, really healthy version, so they're unsalted nuts. And then simply give the nuts a toss around. And it is really that simple. Put them in a um, Ziploc bag and then you can just pop them open or in a jar, um, an airtight jar, and then you can just pop them open, serve your guests, and then all you have to do is just warm it up a little bit in the microwave, just for about 30 seconds, and then they'll be nice and warm, and then serve it with a cold beverage. So, there you have it, simple spicy nuts, the perfect accompaniment to movies or watching TV or games for the weekend. Take care. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're still talking, speaking in tongues, um, just to round it up. Making music, yeah, in your mother tongue. And I wanted to ask, like, talk, um, talking about the benefits of rapping or singing or shout communicating in your local language. Like, what do you think are some of the benefits? I know some people have said they feel like it's something that they can keep and, like, use it to teach, in a sense. Like, it, it kind of preserves some of the cultural. I agree. Culture. I agree. Yeah. Because you find that, I mean, this generation, we've been accused a lot of being a little too Western. English, I be, yeah. yeah. Most kids now are raised with, oh, I yeah, understand English. my language, but I don't really speak it. You know, you things understand. like that. So if you can yeah. communicate to them musically, with, musically and mm -hmm. in the medium they like, yeah. you probably would. And help. again, there are like a whole lot of people here yeah, outside Nigeria, different countries, yeah. South Africa, Dublin, they still want to connect with. With their, with their own, you grab. Just yeah. want to connect with yeah. Nigerians. So when they hear that, it's just like, ah. so yeah. that's why, that's why I think Nigerians more. Ni I mean, there are 
there are more of Nigerian artists flying out to other countries to do shows yeah. than some other countries. Yeah. Why? Because they want to see you. You are making them connect with to whom? You understand? Right, right. So right. it's just cool. That's uh, another thing too. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know that um, a lot of our artists go and do shows in like places where there's a lot of Nigerians or like a Ghanaian might go to it's where there's so they, crazy right now. Nah. You'll be surprised how far Yoruba has gone, how far Igbo have gone. Mm. The the places Fino yeah. around the day I travel mm -hmm. to yeah. to do shows. And the Very crowds that turn up. Places. Yeah. Like la last time we were in London for I was in London this February. Okay. And when we're in a club after after the event in Birmingham and there was this white lady. I noticed me and Olami they were together. I was the one that even called me Kesh, see that lady. <laughs> Watch her mouth. She was singing. She was singing all our songs. What? Not just also, not just like white uh, like Nigerian, Nigerian songs. songs. Nigerian songs. Nice. Back to back, word for word. We we're shocked and we we're like, okay, yeah, let's go back to the studio. And come. <laughs> <laughs> you see the movement. You're doing so something. Yeah. You're doing something, right? Yeah. Nice. That's very nice. Okay. Before we go, just quickly, yeah. I know I was supposed to go on a break. I want to ask if he's married because he's wearing a ring on his. <laughs> that could be maybe. I'm 22. Uh huh. Uh huh. You don't know 22 year olds that get married. I don't yeah. understand. It What's your past 18? I'm married, I'm married to music. We had, we had this, <laughs> even the only, do you want me to just, do you want me to just about After the break, after the break. Your honeymoon? <laughs> 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 We're going to go on a break, guys. We'll get the honeymoon story, but during the break, so sorry yeah. for you. <laughs> we'll see you in just a moment, guys. Welcome back, guys. If you're just joining us, where have you been? The show is almost over, man. We've talked a lot today with Lil Cash about speaking in tongues <laughs> and dabbing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, dab. Yeah, yeah and dab. Um, we're just about to round up the show. We're going to end how we usually end, which is um, with a sweet spot or a pet peeve. Now, oh, we're going to do social media roundup. With, oh, yeah. Okay, let's take the social media first, then we'll yeah. do, we'll do okay. the social media. Very quick. We just get our social media okay. feedback. feedback from the fans. You see the way I'm looking at both oh, of you. I'm a guest here. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just, yes. Mm -hmm. Sit back and relax. Let's do that. On um, Instagram, Iria Bonse Akwata said, Can I suggest you download the Heads Up app on a bigger device so viewers can see what is being described? Well, you can see what's being Send described. Send us an iPad. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you could do that too. And finally, on Twitter, Adeni Giaio says, your show reminds me of the original AM Express in the days of Yinka Craig and Sadiq Daba. Mm. Mm. Hmm. But we're better. Thank mm. you. <laughs> wow. If I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm not there. Oh. Okay. Rest in peace, Uncle Yinka. Yes, indeed. And you have a question for us? Me? Or comments? Or comments. Um, <laughs> be nice. Pressure. <laughs> no. I'm actually not that nice, so let me just keep yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's not ask them. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so something, that, something else that we do on the show is at the end of the show, we share either a pet peeve or a sweet spot. Pet peeve is something that just kind of really takes you off. And today I'm sharing one. Something that pisses you off. Pet peeve. Pet peeve, yeah. Yeah. Pet yeah. peeve, yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so today my pet peeve is, hey stranger messages. You know how you just be... If you have friends or maybe someone that you dated or something like that, you know, over time you kind of lost touch or whatever. And then randomly, one Tuesday night at 4 a.m., you just see, hey, stranger, where you been? Why are you looking for me at 4? Because they're horny. Maybe. It doesn't necessarily have to <laughs> be at 4 a.m. Quiet. Maybe if it's 4 a.m. But if it annoys me. you not from them in months. Yeah. You probably just... Whatever so time, it was raining. Or maybe whatever at that place, particular time, the person was really, of, really reminiscing about. Very you know, like, oh, I and it's if quite you haven't kept in touch, at that time, if you're a stranger, like, Yo, stay a stranger. Yeah. Don't send me hey stranger messages because yeah, it's like irritating. It's, there's a reason why we are not together. Exactly. Keep it like that. Are you in a relationship? At the moment, no. Oh. Honestly, I'm not. Just with your music. Yeah, honestly, I'm not. I'm just. And you have lots of I'm fans, I'm sure, that are willing to share with you their love. Yes. If you have you heard this song, it goes <laughs> down in the deep. Ah. Uh. It goes down in the deep. I hope you're being safe. All right, like, like careful. See, you know, as in Luke Cash, I'm just this kind of boy that I like to set goals. Mm -hmm. I set my goals, and not until I achieve them, I can't do some things. You know, so it's part of me so not having a girlfriend part, right man. now. Okay. So I still have some goals. I, when I once I achieve this, I can start thinking of getting a girlfriend. Probably put out. If you can see. See this, this Please, let's go, let's go, let's go. go <laughs> Put out nah, vacancy. They come on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, um, Lil Cash is still single. 
So you know what to much. do. Um, what's your Twitter and Instagram handle so they um, can slide into your DM? Lil Cash Official. Lil Cash Official. Same thing with Twitter and Instagram. Good day and tell Lil him. Lil Cash, L I L K E S H O F F I C I E L. Lil uh -huh. Cash. Wow. Just go there and say, hey, stranger. He will reply. I will reply. Why must you encourage <laughs> bad behavior? Tell it's time for us to go, us. guys. I uh, hope you had a good time. Thanks for being here today. Thanks yeah, for having thank me. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, shit. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Please sign our wall.